Next, we have a presentation from Vection Technologies with the ticker code VR1. To tell us more about their real-time technologies for digital transformation, I will now hand you over to Director and COO Gianmarco Ognoni. Good morning, Gianmarco. Hi, Jane. Thank you for having me. And good morning, all, and thank you for attending this, uh, this presentation. So today, I'm going to give a brief 10-minute uh, uh, overview on, uh, on the company and uh, on the part of the roadmap uh, and the expansion roadmap for 2022-2023. So the challenges that uh, enterprises face today. So uh, the pandemic has significantly accelerated the insurgent of uh, significant challenges. And enterprises today are struggling to address uh, uh, these challenges in this uncertain climate. So from the management of uh, remote workforces and, and what is so, the so-called hybrid work to the green push of net zero emissions and also having to manage uh, the existing digital systems or so complex digital systems within this hybrid environment is becoming ever more complex. So the solution that Vection Technologies brings to market is that's called integrated XR. So you might be asking, what is Integrated XR? So Integrated XR is the combination of Vection Technologies suite of digital solutions that integrate XR with a diverse range of technologies and combination. So integration is the key word here. So we're assisting our combi to our combinatorial trend where we've got multiple technologies that eventually, the, when combined, will eventually lead to the so-called metaverse. So we go from XR to digital humans, from non-fungible tokens, so NFTs and digital assets to e-commerce, all the way to the infrastructure necessary to run this ecosystem and the technologies. So while XR essentially is an umbrella term, it defines virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality. And this is where we really, really focus, and this is where the value of the companies lies. So all XR technology essentially is a... Um, takes the human to PC screen interface to a new level, to the next dimension, to the digital world, and it modifies it. So if you're immersing yourself in a virtual environment, we've got virtual reality, which is VR. If we are adding or augmented, augmenting our real world surroundings with digital elements, this is augmented reality, so AR. And when you, we combine them, we've got mixed reality, so MR. And all together, the umbrella term is XR. And this is exactly what we do. So we target key challenges stemming from hybrid and remote work via the adoption of our integrated XR tech solution suite, which is key to this combinatorial trend. So some numbers. So the, today we were just uh, released just a month ago, uh, our biggest ever half yearly results since the commencement of our strategy circa three years ago. Uh, so revenue was up 1,100% to $9.3 million in revenue for the first half. Today, we're over 100 people uh, covering essentially all key geographies. And we've got a revenue guidance for the full financial year of 17 to 19 million, which is up from essentially the 3 million circuit revenue, which we had in the previous uh, audited fiscal year. Next slide, please. And we're working in a very broad and, and important uh, uh, market. So um, digital transformation is essentially a huge opportunity for inter integrated XR. So we go from uh, a spend on digital transformation from 2019 to 2024 of over 10 trillion forecasted. We've got 1 trillion plus in spending on future of work technologies forecasted for 2024. And we've got a 57% of total technology spend that will be on digital transformation in 2024. This is up 42% from 2020. And inside of all of these macro trends, we've got XR. So the XR market is forecasted to be valuing, valued at staggering 460 billion by 2025. And this is a very key slide for us. So these are the pillars of what we do. So we go from XR to XR core, so our proprietary XR technologies that enable the integration. So this is very important in, inside of the combinatorial trend. And it enables vertical applications of key features for specific industries. So this is our roadmap. So our growth is... Uh, is essentially driven by organic and inorganic growth. So our focus today in terms of M&A is to identify companies, next slide please, that will enable us to drive organic growth 
via acquisitions of other companies that, that essentially focus on different range of uh, elements that we're looking for. So we go from key exact technologies, so the industry is moving very fast, there's fantastic players that are coming to market, integration, so the combinatorial trend and being able to realize value via the combination of exact technologies with uh, the convergence of other technologies. We're looking at artificial intelligence, we're looking at digital humans, we're looking at uh, at multiple other technologies that can really bring value in this lead up to the metaverse. We're looking at verticals. So the creation of solutions that are specific for uh, verticals or industries. So we go from healthcare to automotive to the fashion industry and so on and so forth. And we're really looking also to expand our geographical presence. So today we're covering virtually the whole globe. We're going from uh, the Asia Pacific region, so Australia, India, uh, Middle East, uh, Europe, and US. And we're really looking to grow in these uh, in these markets. People. So people are always important in what we do. So the technology um, needs people that can really bring to life uh, the creation of this new world, of this metaverse, of this digital world. And also we're always looking at adding new clients. So this is essentially um, to explain that the XR market is highly fragmented. So we're looking at a lot, of, a lot of small players that operate in niche markets. And this is really the opportunity for us is really to leverage off this fragmentation of the market. And to become a true leader in the XR space, we need to expand our XR development capabilities. So this is very important, especially with big corporations that are coming every day into this market. And we're really looking to disrupt this market by really upping the level of our XR development skills. And this is the opportunity essentially for scale. So we've got a, a very uh, interesting uh, portfolio of clients today uh, that operate globally, that are adopting our integrated access suite day in and day out. And the adoption, so the acquisition of new companies will enable us to really scale the, the adoption of our integrated XR solution among new clients in existing verticals, but also new clients in new verticals. So again, it's inorganic growth that drives organic growth. And again, this is to explain our uh, presence today. So Australia, India, uh, Middle East, uh, Europe, and, and the US, and we're really looking to scale globally within these markets. Our history. So we've commenced the essential strategy in 2020, 2007, 2018. And from there, we really transformed the company, really focusing on these new technologies into the digital world. And we've created exponential value for our shareholders and also for our clients. So we're really, really focused and laser focused on creating value for all stakeholders. So being clients or being shareholders, uh, the uh, vision of the company is to create value uh, for these, um, these groups of, uh, of companies and people. So we've got a very strong leadership team that covers the whole globe. So again, from, from Asia Pacific to Europe to the US, a very strong management team that covers all these regions. But we also have got a very strong advisory board with uh, Dr. Sigma Sis for the automotive industry, so XAO for uh, Diamond Mercedes Benz, and Vittorio Terzi, who was, who was a very strategic partner in terms of uh, our strategy into the consulting world. Corporate snapshot. So today we've got circa 111 million in market capitalization. We've got 20 million cash at bank as of the 31st uh, December 2021. And we're really looking to uh, create value from a position of strength. And this is our vision. So creating a fully integrated world powered by integrated EXA. Thank you, Jane Marco. Great presentation as always. Uh, a few questions have come through, so I'll jump into them. So what geographic market do you see as being the largest for the technology? I would say Europe and US. Wonderful. And have you considered a partnership with a large global company to accelerate growth? We've got, we're working on a number of partnerships uh, and it's really important for us to uh, really bring uh, a concrete result in these partnerships before we're able to announce anything to the market. Twitter user has just come through as well. So how is the XR business unit going and when will we see some big traction here? The traction is already there. So um, every day we're seeing more and more interest in the in the XR market. So uh, we're laser focused on generating significant revenue from a whole suite of solutions and to really bring to life our vision in the XR market. Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining us today, June Marco. We look forward to hearing further updates. Thank you, Jane. Appreciate it.